All right, so here's a little walk around video of this Chevy Silverado. We did one of our front bumpers, skid plate, and a rear Dirt King bumper, and one of our semi hidden hitches. So a lot of people ask about how these front bumpers are attached and why we don't sell them um, and be able to ship them and you know have them bolt on. We weld all of our bumpers on um, and I don't make any bumper the same as the next. Every bumper is different. So the factory frame typically comes out to about here where the factory bumper mounts are. We cut the frame back. I try to usually put a little angle here just for approach angle, clearance of, I don't know, rocks or dirt, sand, doesn't get caught. A lot of times we'll cut this big factory unsightly mount off and build a custom mount here. You can reference to uh, Silver Bullet for pictures of that. When we're not running the factory valance, we will sometimes make custom valances to fill in the gap to hide all the unsightly bracketry. And other times, we'll cut all this out and get rid of it. You'll see some bumpers that we've done the same exact body style without this valance with all of that cut out. At that point, I, I really think it's just personal preference, what look you like. Um, I typically don't run this valance on my personal builds, but I will say it is clean and it does make the bumper building process easier. Most all of our bumpers are running inch and three quarter DOM 120 wall tubing. We're always running like a 3 16 thick aluminum sheet for the skid plate. I like to run these little billet washers and zinc countersunk bolts. It's the same hardware that I use on my bedsides typically. Working with each customer and finding out what look they want. It's fun, you know, because everybody's got a little different idea how they want their skid plate to be shaped or they want their top tube bar to sit. I really enjoy it because it's always something different. So let's go check out the rear. You know, just for perspective, the factory bumper, you know, used to sit way low heck the hitch the hitch is like way down here so as far as departure angle goes this is huge for off-road not only is this giving this truck that classic pre-runner look but it is truly effective for off-roading <clears throat> factory sheet metal usually in this area down here we cut all that out call that a dovetail cut this is the dirt king fabrication bumper it is a bolt-on bumper however you do have to cut out the sheet metal to get it to fit i do mine a little bit differently on my personal trucks you can refer to my white hd to see how i cut mine i cut the bumper instead of the sheet metal a lot more work, I just like the look. And then our semi-hidden hitch. Um, try to keep this up and out of the way so you can't really see it. This is two and a half inch square tubing, 250 wall. Probably stronger than any factory hitch out there. With these bumpers, they come with a license plate light. With the Missoula bumper, we run a lighted LED license plate frame. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this little walk around of this truck. Hopefully it answers some of your guys' questions.